guys, it's me, YouTube Rebel, and today I will be doing a random vlog. Um, so I installed a light, sorry, right there, if you can see it with my stuffed animals and my pictures. So, oh hey, it loaded. That's unnatural. Boop, click, no, yeah. Okay, so today I'm just doing a random thing and if you want to see the light installed up there and if you just want to see me randomly post stuff you should follow my Instagram which is YouTube underscore rebel 13 because the other name was taken then if you want to follow my snapchat just to see random pictures of me because we're all becoming narcissistic in this world and we have to look at a phone screen to be able to succeed in life anyways continuing on so if you want to follow my snapchat it is um, <laughs> the name's YouTube Rebel, and it looks like this. Here, let's just... Can you? You can't see that. Well, it's a picture of a girl with my hair color, with a red beanie on, and some dark lipstick. Anyways, if you want to look me up, look up Edgy Squid. <laughs> yes. I couldn't think of a Snapchat name, so I chose Edgy Squid. It, I, I, I was going to do something with YouTube Rebel in it, but everything was taken that I wanted to put in it. So then I tried something aesthetic, because I like that word. Yes, I'm cringy. But then I thought, hey, let's be dumb and do squids, because... Like I said in other videos, um, in one of my live streams that I may have deleted because YouTube hates me and I keep demon not demonetizing and I keep playing videos without actually doing stuff, like without crediting them and saying they're mine, but I really didn't say they're mine, I said they're theirs. Anyways, so <laughs> So wait. I keep playing with my foot. What's going on here? I can't do it yet. Um, no. But what was I saying? <laughs> videos, 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 videos. Yeah, like I said in pre previous videos, what are my subscribers? What am I doing? <laughs> One of my subscribers has given me the nickname um, Squid. And I thought it was cool. And I was going to make a YouTube logo on it, but I never did. And I may do that in a future video if you guys want me to. But right now, I just have my Snapchat name, Edgy Squid. It's me. <laughs> um, sad story. My ear ripped. Um, it is healing. I don't know when it ripped, but it slowly ripped. Because I pushed in so hard to the point where it just went... <sighs> so, yes, that is healing. And once it heals, I'm going to re-pierce it like the stupid person I am. <laughs> and that should, that should be good. Um, so, again, I didn't know what to talk about here. I'm popping my back. It's not that weird. I got a sketchbook. I showed you this in that one video where I got stuff. And I wanted to show you some of the pictures. Not right now because this is a random vlog. But, okay. So, right now in my art period time, I'm working on proportions because I cannot draw things proportionate. What I usually draw is, if you've seen in, obviously, yeah, but it's very, it used to be very chibi in anime because when I first started off drawing, I started off because I was, I was a weeb when I wanted to actually succeed in my drawing because before then I just did doodles. I just did things that weren't very good and at the age of nine I decided to take time and effort to put it into this so I chose anime. So I looked up and Google searched a bunch of these pictures, screenshotted them, saved them, did whatever I had to do, and I copied and copied and copied and practiced and practiced and practiced, and it was insane. I didn't, I didn't know that I was gonna be ever succeeding in my art myself with my talent. Thank you, mom, by the way, for that. And I am making your video right now. Anyways, continuing on. So I started off with anime, and I did that for a very long time, and then I kind of created my own art style. I never really got into dig digital art, but I want to because it looks really fun. But I can't find a good app. 
because my computer's stupid and it won't record on the screen. So I thought, I found this thing at school that I can do, 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 do digital art on. And I thought maybe I could draw something with you guys in a future live stream. Which, by the way, I have 90 days to wait. Again, because of stupid YouTube makes me delete. Anyways, so after I moved on and created my own art style, it kept changing from then on out. Because um, in elementary school, it was very animal-based. I wasn't very good at animals, but I was kind of good at people. So I mixed the two together, duh, get together, and they had cat ears or dog ears or noses or whatever. It was like hybrids. Kind of like, here, this picture right here of Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde from Zootopia. I drew that in class, by the way, during a movie day. Um, so it kind of started off with very animal-like people. And then I developed to get into more realistic people, which then brings me to, did I want to go the realistic route or did I want to go the cartoon route? And obviously I chose cartoon, but I had this debate for a very, very long time because it was I was in the mix. I didn't like anime anymore and I wanted to move on, but I didn't know what to move on to. So that's when I just started developing my own style and... I just kind of moved on here. I got a picture. Perfect example. This is like middle school is what I'm talking about right now. When I like, I wanted to move on to something else other than anime. I started doing stuff like this. Very like, still big eyes. Big head, small body. I thought this was good at once, okay. Um, sorry, I'm putting this back up on my wall. So, after that stage, I kind of moved forward to a very, very chibi version. And chibi is very small. So, it went from that to, I have another perfect example for this. This is like, okay, hold up. Let me just. Woo! So, the picture I just showed you. Frick! Okay, so the, <laughs> the picture I just showed you was probably made during 6th grade, 5th grade, that general time area, because in 5th grade, animals, mermaids, very fictional, and then it became more realistic, kind of. It went from fictional creatures to more angelic, demonic creatures. I did a lot of, like, demons, vampires, werewolves, stuff in that category, and this is what I mean by chibi. It had, like, there were no eyes. There were eyes, but they weren't actually eyes, like what I do now. They were, I still do the sweater thing to this day, but the legs were very, like, rounded. There were no hands. Just kind of very unproportionate. Hold up, let me put this back, because I don't want to put it back later. Whoop, okay. Okay. So, after I kind of went from that chibi phase, and I moved to more semi-realistic again. So, it went from realistic, like, it went from anime, to cartoon, to chibi, to now realistic. And I have a perfect example, because this is the 8th grade period. So, 6th grade was very realistic, 7th grade was more chibi kind of thing, and 8th grade was I have a perfect example again. Sorry, I keep moving. I just have good examples of my art. So this is what I mean. It was still anime because I went, <laughs> funny story. So I started off with anime, went out of anime, then came back to anime, but it's still realistic. I, I wanted the anime features like the eyes, especially the eyes, it had to be the eyes and like the hairstyles, but then the rest was kind of realistic. So, like, this, or, <laughs> my dad doesn't like this picture, but I made this when I was, um, painting along with my three other pictures, 
But stuff like this. Like cartoony, non realistic eyes. And then it was like the switch between eighth grade and ninth grade, which is the grade I'm in now. And it was this major. I don't want to be this cartoonist anymore. I want to work on realistic features. And I did show you in a drawing video, like, in a drawing video what I actually did in, like, my sketchbook, where I, my previous sketchbook, where I was practicing proportions, eyes, men, because I can't draw men. So, to my sketchbook now, yes, I still do ears sometimes. I may erase them. I don't know. But... As you can see, I'm really working on the proportions between the body. Like, the hands go... In real life, your hands go down to about your knee. So, I did that. And I'm not finished with this. I don't think I will ever finish this. But I should, but... I still do the swoopy hair because I think it looks good. Um... I do love drawing realistic eyes. It is one of my favorites. It's the first thing I actually practiced because when I was drawing to begin with, it was humans, like actual humans. Like, I tried realistic at first, then I moved to anime. I keep forgetting stuff, I know. But eyes. Eyes were the main thing for me because I love eyes. So I drew this. Don't mind the whole face part. It looks gross. Or that. Or that. Just the eye. But... I thought this this was really pretty. I love green and blue eyes, personally. They're my favorite color of eyes, but I do love a really pretty dark chocolatey brown or hazel. I like all eye colors. Honestly, that's just my opinion. Then, at my mom's house, since I told you I'm getting more realistic, and I told you about the thing I had with the one artist, with the eye thing, again, um, I made her, and I thought she was super pretty. I love her hair. It's just, I love it. I love the, those things. They remind me of my grandma. But I'm practicing drawing, like, features and stuff in that nature. Um, I don't want to show you the other three pages. And then I'm practicing mounts. Because for mounts, I usually do two lines, like I told you before. But... This was like, this part was Alice in Wonderland themed because that's what I wanted at the moment. And I thought it was just super cool. So, <laughs> I'm glad you guys know now. And if you have any tips or things you want me to draw, just tell me. I will attempt to do them. And if I don't, I am so sorry. I am such a procrastinator. It's like I tell myself I'm going to do something. Then later on, it's like, no, no, I won't. <laughs> So I have to not tell myself I'm going to do it, and then I'll do it. It's very weird. Um, but honestly, oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways. So, I wanted to draw with you guys and talk, now that I'm in, like, the art category. So, how my arting, my art actually started was actually, I feel like my dad's going to walk in, but that's not a big deal. When my art actually started, um, I was actually in the womb with my mom. And my mom has, like, when I was a baby, she would, um, I remember she told me this story where she was doing, you know, like, when you do the clay prints of your hand and the thing? Well, apparently she was doing that with my little feet. And I, um, I stepped on a nail of the thingy, and I hurt myself, and I was crying, and she's like, why are you crying? And then realized what happened. No, but I remember the, like, earliest memory I have of being taught art was actually scenery with my mom. And we were in Montana at the time, and she just bought canvases, and we were in our, I think, living room kitchen thing. And we were looking out the window. And we, she told me, backgrounds come first, then the secondary background, and then the things in front. So it was like in layers. And so I don't have the picture anymore. Not that I know of anyways, unless she kept it. But 
I just remembered using the blues and the, tree, the greens, and it was so pretty because we were in Montana and we were painting the, the forest. And of course, hers looked a lot better than mine because she's way more experienced than me. But after that, I kept asking for more lessons, and I'm pretty sure I was a brat about it because I was a Satan baby. And then the next big painting I did was palm trees. And I remember doing the ombre background and then the silhouette of the palm tree, and I got really mad. The next memory I have of art would actually have to be with my dad. And I was practicing horses because horses were my favorite animal at one point, which now they're deer, by the way, if you wanted to know that. Um, I thought it would be so cool to draw a horse, and I couldn't. It looked like a cow. And my dad told me it didn't look like a cow. But in my heart, I knew it looked like a cow. And so I said it looked like a cow. And I'm pretty sure it gave me bad juju because my, I got in trouble after that. Um, after that, all I remember is, like, drawing faces. I had this one picture of a girl with, like, a head like this and then hair like this. And it was very scary. Let me tell you. It was, just, it was scary. But... That's how you start. And everyone asks me how I'm so good. Like, Saya, how are you so good at art? And I'm like, well, it took many, many years of training and experience. It's like, literally, you have to put yourself into something if you really want to do it. And for me, art was that thing. Like, other kids are super good at reading, or some are really good at math, or some are really good at dancing, and all these other skills that I wish I had. God blessed me with art, and I don't know why. It's art. How is art going to help me in the real world? And this is a major question I've been asking myself. Like, see, because when I get older, I want to be, obviously, I'm not obviously, it's not even obvious at all. I want to work in Oregon and write my book, which I have discontinued because I've lost interest in it, and I want to move on to more serious topics. Wow, I am... I want to move on to ser more serious topics, such as, I had this short story going in my language arts class called Happy Pills, and it was about this girl who had this imaginary friends from taking these pills, and she basically, all she could ever feel was happy with these pills, and at the very end everyone dies, I just killed everyone off, but I will continue it maybe, not saying I will, if I ever do get the motivation to do it, but... Yeah, if you ever want to do that, I can, like, get more interested in it. Um, no. But, it's just, I don't understand. Why did I get the talent of art? I mean, yes, I guess people are looking at me, but that's one thing I don't like. Having people, and I know it's the a hypocrite, a hypocritical situation because I have a YouTube channel and people are watching me. But, I mean... In the real world, because this is through a screen. Anybody could be watching this. And I haven't been very serious about that, and I haven't took it into serious consideration until now. But, I mean, people could see this anywhere. It's always on the internet now. And, I mean, with art and real life, because this is just the internet, it's this thing that we all take for granted, because once one thing comes into play, then one thing leaves, and we all just... <sighs> society, in my eyes... This went from art to, like, my thoughts. So society, in my eyes, is very trendy. If you don't understand what that means, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Stop it. Okay. So, for humans, it's like, we have to have things. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is. If First, it started off with the phone. It was the first iPhone that came out. Everybody wanted it. So did I. I'm not going to lie. Everybody wanted the new hip thing. I'm going to stop drawing for now. And everybody wanted to get in it, be with it, wanted to be cool. And then moved on to upgrading. And so it started with people throwing away perfectly good phones that they could use to getting new phones. And to me, this is just stupid because you have a perfectly good phone. You don't have to purposely break it just to upgrade it. I mean, that's so stupid. So now it's a big war between phones. And now it's like social media comes into play. Because then 
once you have phones, you're connected to the internet instantly. Everything's in your hand. You can look at it. You can search something up. Google is there being Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. There's all these different medias that you can search anything up. And the funny thing is, and I know this is going to be hypocritical because I do it too, but we search out the stupidest stuff when really we could use it for our advantage. And it's like these cellular devices are sucking our life into the screen, taking our minds off of the major problems in the real world, and taking our focus away. And I'm talking about not... Hold on a second. Daisy, I am having a conversation with myself. You're not sitting on my tablet and breaking it again. No, but it's... I lost track of what I was thinking and are talking about. Mm. It's just, I don't know. Well, oh, there you go. I, I got my train of thought back. I'm not talking about the adults of the world, people who've already passed this point. I'm talking about millennials and before that. So babies being born now and kids, teenagers, millennials. So some adults, some adults, maybe, who want to be hip. <laughs> I guess that's the word. Um, but it just sucks us in and we have to pay attention to these things and we have to be so aware. And it's like, people don't understand because I know I've done some stupid stuff on this channel that I probably shouldn't have, but... People have done stupider than me. Like... <clears throat> Pornhub! Um, <laughs> anyways, it's just this ongoing thought I have about... How our life is becoming not actually... Not... Okay, this is the words I'm going for. Computers, phones, tablets, anything that's electronical you can hold in your hand... They say it's making you more connected, but in reality, it's making us more disconnected because we're always looking down. I know kids literally just a few years ago that I would be in lunch and they would be sitting right next to each other texting. I mean, you have mouths, you have voices for a reason. You have these things and people say that technology is going to help us advance in life when really, like, <sighs> by the way, this is just my opinion don't take it to heart. <laughs> but people say we can advance in life with technology when really it's like, okay, so if I'm sitting here looking at a phone, how is this going to get me real skills to go into the real wor world to help me with this job to get money for my family that I'm going to have? Not it's going to happen right now because everybody demands something. Not everybody. Scratch that. I take that back. <laughs> Not going to get into that topic right now. But it's just, this world's becoming so disconnected that we're becoming connected. And I feel like someday we're going to be like Wally. -E. Like, Wally's -E going to be our world. We're going to be in chairs. We're going to be eating f weird stuff. And we're going to just be fat and lazy and have phones and talk. It, it's... <sighs> How do I explain without making myself sound crazy? No, it's just this. People say we're going to become more advanced when really we can't become advanced because our society is becoming lazier and lazier because we keep looking at a phone. Whatever happened to having kids play outside or being able to walk on the street safely, this world is becoming more dangerous and it's just mind boggling to see. Like, I remember when I was young, I used to be able to go on my front lawn and be able to be safe. Kind of. <laughs> it's Moses Lake. It's... I hate this eye. I can blink it on command. Anyways. But, um. What were the times where we could just go out anywhere and be safe? Go explore and have a good time? What happened to that? What happened to having kids be able to pick up a stick and say, it's a sword, I'm going to poke you in the stomach with it. Not, oh, 
I don't want to leave my room. I'm too lazy. I'm going to be on my stuff. And I'm not going to lie. I'm like this. I sit on my computer all day watching YouTube or I'm playing games or I'm if I'm not, then I'm probably doing art, or cleaning, or doing something, but it's usually always inside. I never actually leave my house, unless if I go to school, or sometimes go to the gas station, and just, if you can see this, and you just listen to what I, that big rant or whatever that I just said, then just take it into consider, consideration to just set down your phone for once in a while, and go explore the world. There's so many crazy things out there that why do we need... Where did it go? It's over here. Why do we need this or a phone to look at when we have this world, this beautiful world that we have created, or God, if you believe in him? I just don't understand because we can go outside and we can put our feet on the earth that has grown this earth is provided for us and what are we doing we are on our phones and tablets looking at pictures of earth looking at these things that we could be doing no one ever said you couldn't you did you have the opportunity to do anything you want but we choose as everyone as a whole to not do it and for the certain people who do Congratulations to you. And I'm not saying everyone does this. I actually just did. And again, another hypocritical statement. But I think you understand, but I'm not sure. But, I mean, it's just... If you... I'm, again, I'm not saying everybody does stay inside. But I know a lot of people who do. A lot of kids, I'm pretty sure, just stay inside and do nothing. And just stay on their phone or computer like most of my friends they just stay inside on their computer on their phone doing something on it and the only time kids really go out is when they want to hang out with friends and still they're on their phones it's again if you're listening to this just put down your phone after you watch this video turn off your phone put it in your pocket and go on an adventure it may be dark outside what time is it it is Using it to your advantage. It's 6.33. But tomorrow morning, wake up. It's a brand new day. Put on your shoes. Put on your gloves. Ask your mom or dad or if you're an adult and you're watching it. Which is really weird because I'm only 15. Get a life. Stop watching me. <laughs> well, no. It's your life. I can't make you do anything. But I'm just saying that's really creepy. Anyways, so go out on an adventure. Explore something new. Even if you already explored it. Search deeper, take a sketch pad, notebook, anything, jot down notes, pretend, use your imagination. And people always ask me, how, how come I'm so imaginative? Well, it's because I did things as a kid. I grew up exploring and jumping on things and playing and playing pretend, and I still do. I wish I could go outside, knock on someone's house that has a kid my age, and we could have a Nerf gun war. Or we can play pretend, or we can build a castle, or we can play with chalk, or walk down to the gas station, hang out at the park. It's... I wish we could have these things, but we can't. We just have to do what, what we got. What is up with my eyeball? <laughs> just... I keep saying it. Again, take it into consideration. You don't have to do what I say. You can continue watching YouTube, or going on social media but just imagine how fun the world is out there even if you are alone then you can take that experience and by yourself and then you can tell your friends hey i wanted this cool adventure i may have stepped on something and almost broke my foot but i saw this waterfall or i went cliff jumping or i went bike riding or even if i just went on a walk yesterday what did you see Oh, well, I saw a squirrel attacking a, a sign. I saw, I saw a dog eat a cat. I don't know. <laughs> Just, that's my word of advice. And this was a very weird vlog. It started off with, I don't know what I'm doing to, I'm going to be talking about art too. You guys should stop being trash. Just kidding. You guys are all beautiful. I'm trash here. <laughs> and I'm sorry if this video was offensive in any way. It is my opinion 
that what this world's coming to. You may have your opinion and you may have your beliefs and religions. This is just my take on it. And I know all of you may be thinking, hey, that's kind of weird. I know it's, I know my brain's weird. I'm a, t a 15 year old girl with this huge mindset of, our future's gonna. <laughs> Other kids are like, what am I gonna get my nails done again? <laughs> I just, I hope you guys have a great day and that my video brought you joy or you thought or you're thinking or you just looked at life differently or you just had a brain fart or something. Just live life. And I will see you in the next video. Again, this is all my opinion besides the last part. Like right now what I just told you. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.